What is up guys and welcome back to another episode of the Manchester City Curry Month and today we will start off with a comment from the Curry Muncher and he said in the last episode don't scout China they are not good and not realistic in real life City doesn't scout China and I mean it kind of hurt me a little bit there I mean I am Chinese and I do play football but it is kind of true we do suck at football a little bit so not a little bit a lot actually um, basically why did I scout China you guys actually voted for me to scout China and yeah it actually one point had the most of votes so that's the only reason why I'm scouting them and I will stop scouting them once the scout has returned from his stay from China so I hope you can, I hope you understand also you might have seen that I have a new profile picture and channel art on the channel and credits to it's Gabriel Jesus he made the channel art and profile picture for me so big shout out to it's Gabriel Jesus for the channel art and the profile picture thank you my friend and in today's episode we have Burnley in the Premier League and we have Manchester United in the EFL Cup quarterfinals and I'm actually thinking about simming this match against Burnley in the Premier League away from home but as we are quite behind Liverpool and Chelsea by quite a few points, I am going to play this match against Burnley who are in 8th place so they are not doing too bad. So we are going to play this match against Burnley hoping to catch up against Chelsea and Liverpool in the league and yeah, let's do this. And we will kick things off here in the 6th minute, De Bruyne not making the Burnley player with that pass. Passing to Kun Aguero Silva to De Bruyne, De Bruyne to Sergio Aguero, Sergio Aguero takes the shot, 1-0 up that easy 1-0 up against Burnley here at Turf Moor in the Premier League away from home and Manchester City is up 1-0 in the seventh minute away from home decent little goal from Sergio Aguero right there a decent nutmeg from Kevin De Bruyne right there and who also got the assist for that goal from Sergio Aguero nothing Tom Heaton the former Manchester United goal kicker goal kicker goalkeeper could do about it Tom Hayton the number one nothing he could do about it and after that we will move on 11th minute they will be on the attack straight after that crossing it in what a cross it was Andre Gray takes the shot and straight straight over the crossbar that shot was sent to Row Z here at Turf Moor and we will move on to the 21st minute Leodore Sané on the ball on the run go on the run son Leodore Sané takes the shot against Tom Heaton Tom Heaton with a decent save to keep things at a 1-0 to Burnley keeping Burnley in this game and after that Sam Vokes with another cross and Florenzi getting it clear hitting Andre Gray but luckily it hit Florenzi straight after that and we will get things cleared and Lawson here to this guy not even going to try and pronounce this name right there we get a clip Kevin De Bruyne gets a clear answer that we will move on to the second half Kun Aguero go on a run get into the box and score gets taken out is it a penalty yes it is the referee blows his whistle and calls it a penalty points straight to the spot and gives a yellow card to the Burnley player and that is Tarkowski the number 26 pretty mad tackle from him right there taking out Sergio Aguero straight in the box and yes yeah, didn't get anywhere close to the ball right there and takes Sergio Aguero straight out and will Yaya Torre be able to score right here from the penalty spot I take a look at my options to decide who we take it with at the end I decide to take with Yaya Torre who will take it bottom right takes the shot gets saved by Tom Heaton probably should have taken that one with Kun Aguero who has the ball right here we could score straight after that penalty kick you know and pass it over to Florenzi who runs into the box come on cross it in son cross it in gets taken out by Ward referee another penalty no definitely not that one got the ball Barton here on the ball to Andre Gray cross it and and actually Barnes Gianluigi Donnarumma what a save top quality right there keeping us in the game and after that they have a free kick and I put Yaya Torre on the line they take the shot and I am so happy that I put Yaya Torre on the line Gianluigi Donnarumma probably could have saved that one but I'm still happy that I put Yaya Torre on the ball Ashley Barnes again Donnarumma again with another save Brady with a cross then but we do get it clear and Gianluigi Donnarumma is saving us right here right now Kun Aguero on the ball dribbling inside the box crossing it straight over to Kevin De Bruyne takes it first time does it get safe or that was that just wide from Kevin De Bruyne right there crossing it in from Sergio Aguero 
Kevin De Bruyne takes it first time as the defender was closing in on him and it was just wide um, Tom Dita didn't need to do anything here Sterling passing over to Kalichi Haiye Nacho Silva to Leroy Sané over and takes the shot Tom Heaton again with a nice save this match could have been 4-0 and the only reason it has been not is thanks to Tom Heaton the former Manchester United player Sir Alex Ferguson taught you well my son you're not my son you're much older than me Fernandinho here loses the ball but wins it back passing it to Kalichi Aikinacho what has happened as the referee called for a foul what has happened right here Fernandinho wins back the ball and yeah Kalichi Aikinacho was in a offside position right there and after that what's a ball from the full right there to that player takes the shot Tarkovsky and gets safe again from Gianluigi Donnarumma again this guy pops up this kid pops up here Yaya Torre walks a ball outside of the boot to Kalichi Aikinacho who is much faster than Keane takes the shot gets saved by Heaton gets straight to Sterling falls straight to Sterling's feet and Raheem Sterling scores his first goal in a Manchester not, a, not his first goal his first goal in this season of the Premier League good, good save from Tom Heaton right there parries it straight falls straight into the feet of Raheem Sterling who takes the shot takes um, go on the rebound and scores his first goal of the season in the Premier League straight in front of the Manchester City reporters I have no idea what I am on about right now his first goal in the Premier League lovely jubbly and after that the referee will decide to blow the whistle and we win this match 2-0 away from home at the turf moor and yeah decent win from us right there the supporters are happy Sean Dyke is not going to be a happy man after this match and yeah goes from Sergio Aguero and Raheem Sterling picking up his first Premier League goal of the season and hopefully we are catching up to Chelsea and Liverpool who are top of the league with level and points currently and yeah hopefully we do catch up with them after this big big win away from home um, against a Burnley here in the Premier League at Turf Moor. So after that 2-0 win against a Burnley in the Premier League, let's take a look at our youth academy. We have Kang Dong in the left midfield position, 70 to 94 potential from China. Li Chao, 73 to 94 potential. Not the best of overall these two players. And Clum Hogan, 84 to 94. So big talent this guy is. Joseph O'Donnell, 61 to rated overall. Um, 71 to 94 potential. Bing Den Zhao, who has a high, high potential from China. Striker in the striking position. Kai Gun in the central midfield position. Manolo Reyna, very, very good talent. And Mark Brain in the center attacking midfield position and let's train this players up for probably give one give some slots to our youngsters um, let's give a slot to Manalo Reina who is a right winger from Arge from Spain not Argentina and let's give him beat your man and let's give um, probably Bing Den Zhao as he has a very very high potential chance creation for him and let's give a slot to probably O'Donnell as he is already at 61 rating and let's give one to let's give one to Calm Hogan who has very high potential in the center defensive midfield position and that's lastly let's give one to Gianluigi Donnarumma a real life player and let's send this I'll simulate all of these training sessions and hopefully some growth in these players and Manarena grows to a 64 rated and Donnarumma going through a 82 rated overall player decent we have Manchester United in the EFL Cup in our next match even though I don't care about the EFL Cup we are going to play this match as we do not want to lose to our local rivals and that is Manchester United in the EFL Cup let's take a look at the table at the tree um, Manchester United of course we're facing and Watford and I believe that is Plymouth I'm not sure what that team Watford is facing but they've made it into the quarterfinal and Leicester City has beaten Everton 2-1 in the quarterfinal and Cheltenham Cheltenham 
has lost out on penalties to Liverpool just barely and so Liverpool is making to the semi-finals of the EFL Cup so hopefully we can beat Manchester United in the quarterfinals of the EFL Cup and make it to the semi-finals of the EFL Cup and yeah let's play this match against Manchester United in the EFL Cup let's do this Breaking rules Dangerous path that I follow And let's take a look at MU's first team Romero, Smalling, Matza, Braithwaite, Darmian, Wayne Rooney and Marcus Rashford David De Gea, Antonio Valencia, Blin, Bailly, Luke Shaw and De Herrera, Carrick, Pogba, Mkhitaryan, Zlatan Ibrahimovic and Anthony Martial in the starting lineup. And De Herrera played a very very good match in real life against Chelsea in that 2-0 win so he is a big big player to watch out and Anthony Martial the player out of favor in real life right now is starting in the first team right here right and now and Manchester United you know, will kick things up here against Man City in the derby in the EFL Cup and after that we will win the ball from Zabaleta from that throw in but wasn't the greatest of pass from Zabaleta right there but Jesus Navas wins the ball straight back for us passing over to Nolito Nolito trying to find options running inside passing straight out to Gundogan who takes the shot and scores identical identical with that first goal that we had against Burnley early on in this episode with Sergio Aguero and Gundogan scores his first goal in a Man City shirt um, I believe in this career mode an identical identical goal versus Manchester United here at Old Trafford same with that goal with Kun Aguero uh, away from home at Turf Moor as well in the Premier League and Gundogan scores his first goal in a Man City shirt and his first goal in the EFL Cup decent from the team right there Zabaleta it all started from Zabaleta's tackle from that throw in right there and after that we will move on to the 22nd minute Valencia with a pass to Andahara Andahara Carrick with the shot John Stones gets a block onto Andahara to Marcia Marcia gets through takes the shot and he scores great Claudio Bravo given a chance to start in this match at in the EFL Cup probably shouldn't have given him the chance because Gianluigi Dodonrama would 100% save that shot from Anthony Martial who was by the way that shot was very very close to Claudio Bravo who let that shot and very very disappointing after that they will be on the attack again under Herrera trying to find a pass and what a pass it is to again to Anthony Martial the goal scorer and he tries to chip Gianluigi not Gianluigi Donnarumma he tries to chip um, Claudio Bravo and the new Martial he does what a pass from under Herrera by the way chesses it down and tries to chip Claudio Bravo doesn't do it successfully and after that Gundogan to Fabian Delph who is true on go takes the shot and who am I kidding true on go you're not true on go when you have David De Gea in go and after that, we'll move on to the 42nd minute. Gunduan on the ball, passing it over to Gabriel. Jesus takes the shot, big deflection. And oh my god, Eric Bailly just literally almost helped us out right there. Sticks out a leg and almost went in a better angle from there. But yeah, after that, we will have a corner kick. It falls straight to the feet of Fernandinho, who will take the shot. Gets blocked by Michael Carrick. And after that, we will move on to the second half and Gunduan will have pass it over to Johnny. Johnny will pass it over to Nolito. Nolito will pass it over to Jesus Navas. A nice passing play from the team right here. Gabriel Jesus gets through the defense, takes the shot and scores. And we go 2-1 up straight from kickoff. And Gabriel Jesus celebrating straight in front of the Man United fans. In real life, he'll probably get thrown coins at him. And absolutely get murdered and fight the flexion again from Iron Fai right there. A better angle from right here and 
totally messes it up for David Zahia right there, who scores his third goal, I believe, in the EFL Cup and help us get in front of Man United right here and after that they will be on the attack again Martial on the ball again crosses it and Zlatan tries to control it takes the shot Claudio Bravo with a decent save to keep things at 2-1 to us and after that Michael Carrick on the ball to Mkhitaryan Mkhitaryan tries to find Under Herrera and Herrera takes the shot decent save from Claudio Bravo right there and he is absolutely pumped for that and here a look at the replay under Hera takes the shot and yeah I take back what I said straight at Claudio Bravo wasn't a decent save at all and after Alex Garcia passing over to Jesus Navas who will run with the ball straight up pace with this guy passing over to Kalichi Ahianacho takes the shot gets safe from David De Gea and yeah a decent save from him to keep things at 2-1 to keep hope for Manchester United right there and after that Gabriel Jesus will run with the ball slows it down passing over to Jesus Nava who gets taken out on the edge of the box we will earn a free kick and just take a look at this And oh so close, Alexander Kolarov, I believe that is your first name Alexander, Kolarov, decent shots and yeah couldn't bring it down just in time and after that decent free kick from Kolarov in the dying minutes of this game and after that the referee will decide to blow the whistle, it's a 2 on win for Manchester City here in the AFL Cup and we will move on to the semi-finals against Watford I believe and here in the EFL Cup and Manchester United winning it in the real life winning the EFL Cup in real life will not be winning the EFL Cup here in FIFA 17 Manchester City Karim Zlatan Ibrahimovic with one shot and zero goals decent win for Manchester City here in the Manchester Derby here at Old Trafford and yeah lovely win for Manchester City right here so after beating Manchester United in the quarterfinals of the EFL Cup, we will be advancing to the semi-finals of the EFL Cup and let's take a look at our youth squad's monthly report. Kang Dong, Lee Chow, Joseph O'Donnell and Calm Hogan still pretty decent, some pretty high potential, maybe Kang Dong has dropped a bit. I release Kang Dong, I'm going to re be releasing Kang Dong. And Bing Nang Zhao has to grew a little bit in his potential, so that's good. Kylan is still pretty decent. Mark Breen is decent. And Mano Reina, Manolo Reina, 89 to 94 potential. Insane. And yeah, in the next episode, we will have Chelsea at home in the Premier League, who are in second currently. Liverpool flying in the league right and now, Spurs in fourth and Arsenal in fifth. So the both North London clubs are battling it out for the Champions League spot. And West Brom in sixth, so they are not doing too bad. Manchester United all the way down in 14. And Stoke City, Middlesbrough and Swansea City all the way down in the relegation zone. And in the next episode, we have Chelsea, of course, Real Madrid in the Champions League group stages and Leicester City away from home in the Premier League as well so tune in for that and thank you so much for watching today's episode of the Manchester City Kermit and yeah I'll see you guys in the next video PEACE